Colorado Air and Space Port ICAO, KFTG, FAA LID, FTG, formerly known as Front Range Airport, is a public airport located on the northeastern edge of Aurora, Colorado in the United States, 3 miles kilometers southeast of Denver International Airport. It was owned by the Front Range Airport Authority, until January 2014 when Front Range Airport and all its employees merged with Adams County and became its own department. Front Range Airport serves the Denver-Aurora-Lakewood, Colorado Metropolitan Statistical Area. The postal designation of Watkins, a nearby unincorporated community, is used in the airport's mailing address, although many U.S. airports use the same three-letter location identifier for the FAA and IATA. Front Range Airport is assigned FTG by the FAA but has no designation from the IATA. Front Range is a small general aviation airport, although increased demand has warranted a number of expansion programs in recent years. Until 2005 it was a non-towered airport without air traffic control ATC services, when the tallest general aviation control tower in the United States 191 feet was opened along with full ATC services. Currently, the airport serves as the base of a few flying schools, flight clubs, maintenance services, and air rescue training facilities. Due to its location on the flat plains of eastern Colorado, as well as generally cheaper aircraft rental rates, it is a very popular airport for both flight training and recreational flights. It is also popular among owners and pilots of kit-built aircraft, and the Experimental Aircraft Association EAA, has a very strong presence at Front Range, which frequently hosts the EAA Young Eagles rallies. In 2011, the state of Colorado applied to the FAA to certify Front Range as a spaceport. The application was approved on August 17, 2018 and announced on August 20, 2018. Topic. History After 19 years as airport director, Dennis Heap and the airport board parted ways in August 2013. Heap was replaced in the late spring of 2014 by Dave Ruppel. Shortly afterwards, the Front Range Airport Authority was dissolved and the airport and all employees were folded into Adams County on January 1, 2014. Since then, the airport has seen marked improvement in general aviation, air taxi, military traffic as well as other air-based businesses, such as the helicopter-based businesses of Air Methods. As well as Topic facilities and aircraft Front Range Airport covers an area of 3,980 acres 1,610 hectares which contains two asphalt paved runways, 8 26 and 1735, each measuring 8,000 by 100 feet 2,438 by 30 meters. For the 12-month period ending December 31, 2005, the airport had 94,625 aircraft operations, an average of 259 per days, 99% general aviation, 1% air taxi and Topic. Spaceport proposal In October 2011, the governor of Colorado, John Hickenlooper, formally requested that the federal government designate Colorado a spaceport state and that Front Range Airport be designated a spaceport for suborbital horizontal takeoff flights HTVL and HTHL. Spaceport designation would allow a facility offering suborbital tourism, travel, and cargo transport from one point to another on Earth. The Denver Post reported that, No vertical launches are planned at Front Range, unlike most of the other eight certified U.S. spaceports. Instead, space planes, an emerging technology will use regular runways and jet engines to take off and land, switching to rocket power above 50,000 feet. Media sources have suggested that the Sierra Nevada Dream Chaser spaceplane may be used for suborbital spaceflights and that the Colorado spaceport may prove to be the preferred location. Over Spaceport America in New Mexico, as of May 2012, news reports indicate that the Spaceport Colorado proposal is gaining traction with political interests at the state and federal level as well as with industry participants.
One of those commercial interests was XCOR Aerospace, which was considering Spaceport Colorado as a candidate for HTHL operations with their Lynx rocket plane. However, XCOR announced in July 2012 that they would be moving their company headquarters and research and development activities to Texas, in part due to a significant set of financial incentives $10 million offered to XCOR by the Midland Development Corporation MDC and the Midland City Council. As of April 2012, Colorado state law grants limited liability to spaceflight companies, allowing spaceflight participants who sign waiver forms to sue only if they are injured or killed as a result of a firm's willful or wanton disregard for safety. Spanish architect Luis Vidal produced an architectural concept for the new airport in 2013. In December 2017, British aerospace company Reaction Engines began construction of a test facility at Front Range for the development of its Sabre air breathing rocket engine. Topic. See also List of airports in the Denver area.